Hello and welcome to today's lesson. In this lesson, we're going to explore the concept of stage traversal, which will help you navigate and manipulate the scene graph more efficiently. So, what is stage traversal? It's the process of traversing the scene graph of a stage. This allows you to iterate over the scene graph, accessing, querying, and manipulating the prims, and it's a fundamental concept in OpenUSD. When you open a layer in a stage, you can traverse the scene graph using various methods. You can iterate through child prims, access parent prims, and traverse the hierarchy to find specific prims of interest. This process is facilitated by the stage object, which provides an interface to load, edit, and save USD data. Traversing stages works via the USD.prim range class, but you may often interface with it through stage.traverse. There are two traversal modes, default, which iterates over child prims, pre and post visit, which iterates over the hierarchy and visits each prim twice, once when first encountering it, and then again when exiting the child hierarchy. There are also predicates which can be used for pre-filtering the result. USD prim is active, looks for if the active metadata is true. USD prim is loaded, looks for if the ancestor payload is loaded. This one, USD prim is model, is looking for if the kind is a subkind of the kind tokens model. USD prim is group, looking for if the kind is kind, tokens, group, is abstract, if the prim specifier is SDF, specifier class, is defined, if the prim specifier is SDF, specifier defined, and USD prim is instance. This is looking for if the prim is an instance root. This is false for prims in instances. If you're writing code related to stage traversal, here are a few relevant Python functions you should know. This first function opens a USD file and creates a stage object. Stage.traverse traverses the stage of prims that are active. This function defines a predicate to filter prims that are active and loaded. This last function starts the traversing from the given prim and based on the predicate for filtering the traversal. In summary, stage traversal enables navigation and manipulation of the scene graph. It's essential for tasks such as querying the scene data and has numerous applications across various industries. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more, check out the following resources and we'll see you in the next lesson.